And the lions are very fierce, blah, 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 blah. One day we were out filming some new cubs when the lioness came back and ate the camera. Oh, dear. What do you say, Hopkins? Oh, dear, Mum. That's what I say. After eating the camera, the lioness... Oh, dear, oh, dear. And then the cubs all ran away, leaving us without a single picture. Blah, 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 love, blah, 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 blah. Oh. Well, I must say, Cuthbert, you don't show much interest in a letter from your parents. Oh. That reminds me. Mr. Bodley gave us all letters to bring home. I nearly forgot. Tests. I know, it's awful, just like my old school. Mr. Bodley said it was to see if we were all keeping up. Mm. And maybe some of you aren't. Very well, Cuthbert. You had better polish up on your general knowledge. Hopkins, after tea, you may take him through the questions in this book. Tests? At your age? You've never had them before. I said they pushed you too hard. What about that old woman? What do you mean, what about her? A woman of her age having to bother with tests. She says she's going to put down all the wrong answers on purpose. <laughs> I don't blame her. Anyway, it's not as if she needs to trouble her head about it. I mean, she's not going to apply for a job or something. What will happen to her if she fails, Mum? Oh, they wouldn't fail her. Would they? When can you catch water in a net and it won't all run out? Um, um, Auntie? Oh, dear. I, uh, I seem to have a headache coming on. Think, boy, think. When can you catch water in a net? Well, what about this one, then? What's a crocodile's favourite game? I don't know. What is a crocodile's favourite game? Snap! <coughs> What's the horse's favourite game? Ah, uh, giddy-up. <laughs> Stable tennis. <laughs> How do you make a pair of trousers last? I know that one. You make the jacket first. Mm. All right, then. Let's think of a good one. What do you get if you cross a sheep with a kangaroo? Um, a sheep -a oh, A woolly jumper. <laughs> <laughs> when can you catch water in a net and it won't all run out? Oh, I don't know. Please tell me, Hopkins. When the water's ice. Very good. Very good. Keep it at it, Hopkins. Well, I am glad to see you're so keen to start. Now, you may not turn over your papers until I tell you. And no whispering the answers to each other, mind. <laughs> That's right. Sharpen your pencils and sharpen your wits, as my mother used to say. Now, Sally, if you wouldn't mind giving out the writing paper, please. Ready, steady, go. They haven't got their writing paper yet, Mr. Bodley. Well, just my little joke, Miss Feeble. Now, when Sally has given you all your blank pieces of paper, you may turn over the questions and begin. <gasps> She'll never get that one. Yes, very good. We'll get rid of her yet. All right, everyone, turn over your papers. Mrs. Uh, Excuse me, Miss Earle. Please, may I leave the room? Certainly not. But if I don't, my house will catch on fire on its... How? Well, I've just remembered I left the frying pan on. And it'll get on fire. And the hot fat will swish out and drop on my cat. And you die. And the carpet will burn. And the curtains in the ceiling. And my bed upstairs. And I'll have nowhere to sleep tonight. All right. All right. You'd better hurry, that's all. Oh, oh thank you, Miss Earle. I will. I promise. I wouldn't miss my test for anything. I wouldn't trust that old bat one inch or even one centimetre. Get on, everyone. You haven't much time. Magnus, Magnus, and eat your heart out. <laughs> What's 
it all right? What? Your frying pan and the cat. Oh, them. Oh, I was dead lucky. The fire brigade arrived just in time and rescued George. Because he was only a bit singed. But I took him to the vet and he said he'd be all right if he had a bit of a rest and something to eat. Like a few fresh fish and some cream. So I got him them and now he's sleeping it off. You did all that? Yes. You were very quick. Oh, I am. You see, miss, I love tests. Huh? Got a cold, Sally? Very well, get on. Sorry, miss, sir. Colds are very catching. <laughs> Shh. Your names are on the top. Just the name, Sally. No more answers. Now, will you collect up the papers, please? And after playtime, I want us to start work on a new project. Is it the school panto, miss? Well, we will soon have to get down to the pantomime, yes. What's it going to be, miss, sir? That's yeah, one of the things we'll have to decide. Well, we think it might be going to be Sleeping Beauty. Oh. At least thinking about that should keep your mind off your test results. <laughs> but the project I want to get going this afternoon is a sponsored spell. Thank you, Sally. To raise more funds for the old folks. All right, off you go. Make sure everything's left tightly, will you, Sally? Hopkins told it to me the other night. He told me lots of other ones, too. Like what? What do you get when you cross a zebra with a pig? That's not a test question, it's a joke. A slaughtering zebra? No, stripy sausages, of course. <laughs> Isn't it awful? What a test. That's great. What? Yeah, I thought it was easy. What's more, I'm looking forward to the sponsored spell. That's right up my street. Goodness, some of these words are very difficult. How much will you give me for the old folks if I learn them? Do I have to pay for each word you learn? Yes. Oh, 20p, does that sound right? Suppose so. How many sponsors do you need? It says six. Oh, yes, so it does. Oh, dear. I mean, do come in. Oh, ta. I want some sponsors. Oh, not you as well. Well, it's very good of you, dear, to take part, I must say. Well, why shouldn't I? It's for the old folk and I'm old. Yes, I suppose you are. Mum's giving me 20p a word. Oh, good. My spells have got lots of words. I'll do one for you now, shall I? Uh, no. Perhaps it would be better to wait till another time. Oh, don't tell me. You want a sponsor too. Yes, please. And I'll give you 2p a word. Hmm. I never knew beginning had two ends in the middle. We live and learn, Mum. I think I need to go and lie down. And I'll give you 50p a word. God. And that's my final offer. You're right, Hopkins. So, uh, when are they testing on these words? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Right. Better get cracking. First word, Wednesday. 
W E N Very pleased by how much you've all managed to get your sponsors to promise. Especially Cuthbert. As ever, Lady Folks Crustard has been particularly generous and put herself down for 52 pence a word. Well, actually, Miss Yes, was... Cuthbert? Nothing. So now, all that remains is to see how many of the spellings you can all get right. Oh, I've been practicing, Miss Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I'm glad to hear it. Well, Sally, shall we begin with you? Yes, please, Miss Fable. Oh, I want to start. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, very well, for the sake of peace and quiet. Mm. Spell moccasin. Pardon? <laughs> what's what's moccasin? <laughs> A kind of slipper. Oh, oh. When do you catch water in a net and it doesn't run out? When you put a plastic bag inside it, really. Oh, oh. That's funny. I could have sworn. What happened to that cup of coffee, Miss Sugden? We're waiting, Mrs. Uh... She can't do it. All right, let's try blamange. Oh, I don't know any spells with blamange in them. Will custard do? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not. All right. Well, I don't know if it'll work. Where is that coffee? Yeah. Oh, dear, this is getting silly. You haven't succeeded in spelling anything correctly yet. In fact, you haven't succeeded in spelling anything. Oh, yes, I have. I've spelled slipper, blamange, balaclava, azalea, xyloflow. Miss Feeble, can you tell me what's going on? See? <laughs> of course you can't collect any money. Miss Feeble never signed a piece of paper to say you spelled the words right. It's not fair. I spelled them better than any of you. Yes, but not in the same way. Girl. You'll never pass that test, and you know Mr. Bodley wants you expelled. Expelled? That's easy. I can spell him poached egg, scrambled egg, fried egg. No, I mean he wants to get rid of you. Ah, oh, well, now. What do you mean? Ah, oh, well, now. <laughs> Like this. <laughs> when do you catch water in a net and it doesn't all run out? When the water's ice. Oh, I see. You cheated. What? I wonder, stupid book, didn't I fair and square? Wasn't I supposed to use it? You old fraud. <laughs> but you know you couldn't have kept the money even if Miss Feeble had signed your piece of paper, don't you? Why not? It's for the old folks. I keep telling you I'm old. In fact, I'm ancient. If people knew how old I was, they'd put me in a British museum. It's for the old folks up at the home, not you. We're going to buy them a minibus. You mean I'm not going to get a minibus? Hey, in that case, I'm leaving school. Oh, no, it'd be really boring without you there. And we've got the school pantomime to look forward to. Would I be in it? I expect so. Oh, good. Just so long as I can choose my own part. <laughs> what was it going to be? Probably Sleeping Beauty, Miss Fable <gasps> says. Oh. There's this wicked witch who casts an evil spell on the princess so that if she touches the spindle of a spinning wheel... She turns into a frog. No, that's the frog prince. Oh, yeah. If she touches the spindle, she falls asleep for a hundred years and a handsome prince comes along and wakes her up. Oh, good. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I know what part I want to be. So do I. Yes! Oh, I couldn't. Oh, the beautiful princess, of course. <laughs> I'm made for the part. Don't you think so? 